Okay, so I completely thought I outgrew video games, but the last 24 hours have taught me I absolutely did not. And I'm going to be going over the reasons why, as well as do a first impressions on the Xbox Series S and what I think about them. So this video is going to be for anyone who's wanted to pick up gaming again, but just didn't know whether or not it was worth it. Let me tell you, 100% it is. So five years ago, I had a PS3 that I played very regularly. I'd had that thing since I was about 19 and I got so much use out of it, but what happened is it started to overheat. And so one day it overheated and didn't turn on, and I took it to a repair place, and the person said that it would be over a hundred and something dollars to repair it, and I just didn't figure it was worth it. So I stopped playing video games altogether. That was it. That was the last time I played. So about a week ago, I was scrolling TikTok and found a creator that I absolutely loved. His name is Ghost of Caldera and I got hooked on his feed and I figured that it was about time I returned back to video games. I never intended to leave them, but life just got in the way. And so I decided to start looking around and seeing if I could just play on my PC and I was able to get it up and running, but it wasn't quick enough to run the games I wanted to run at. So I had to make a choice. Do I try to fix the PC or do I go pick up an actual gaming console? So I decided to just pick up a gaming console and what I ended up picking was the one terabyte Xbox Series S in carbon black. And let me tell you, I've been so impressed with the Xbox Series S in the last 24 hours. I found like I've rekindled an old hobby, a new passion, and I'm gonna be telling you about my first impressions on why I like this console so much. First, as I mentioned, I had a choice to make. Do I spend a bunch of money trying to upgrade my PC or do I pick up a very reasonable gaming console and at $349, the Xbox Series S Carbon Black is one of the best bangs for the buck that you can get right now, even if it's not on sale. Now the 512 gigabyte Xbox Series S is $299, but for an extra $50, you can get the Carbon Black, which comes with a one terabyte hard drive, which gives you double the capacity space. And even after the operating system is done running, you still have somewhere around 800 gigabytes of usable storage. So what's not to love about that? It allow me to keep way more games on rotation as I plan on going through and testing out some games that you guys are recommending and I want to be able to run through them for an extended period of time so now I don't have to worry about space. If I decided to go with the 512 gigabyte hard drive then somewhere down the line I'm sure I would have had to increase my space which would have cost me anywhere from $150 to $300 and I figured to just pay the $50 now and not have to worry about it later. Number two is that the Xbox Series S offers amazing next-gen performance at a great price point at $299 for the base 512 gigabyte and $349 for the one terabyte carbon black. You really can't beat that, especially when you start comparing it to other consoles like the PS5 or when you start looking at some of the mid-tier or higher-end gaming PCs. That's gonna run you a lot more than 349. Number three reason to be impressed with this console is Xbox's velocity architecture, allowing you to have a gameplay of up to 120 FPS. Right now on this regular monitor that I'm using, it still looks great, but I imagine on a gaming monitor, you'll be able to see the clarity a lot more. So I'm hoping to upgrade in the future. So number four reason why I like this is Xbox's quick resume and the ability to move between multiple games very seamlessly. So when you stop playing one, you can move over to the next in a matter of seconds. Listen, I come from a time where you used to have to leave a Sega Genesis or a NES on all night if you got to a spot but had to go to bed. So this is very nice to have and it's extremely refreshing. One of the last things I wanted to talk about was just the design of this console. It looks absolutely stunning when you pull it out of the box. The beautiful matte black finish is just second to none and in comparison to the white version, I absolutely love the way this one looks. I could pick up the white version as well, but if I had to choose, I would definitely go with this one. The controller as well just looks great and it feels perfect in the hands. I would definitely pick up another one of these, or if you need a second controller, I would consider picking this up as well. So there you go. There are my first impressions of the Xbox Series S in black. I would definitely pick this thing up if you were looking to get into casual gaming, or if you didn't have a lot of time to play during the week, this is definitely worth the investment and I can't wait to get more use out of it. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'm going to be getting back in the video game. So if you guys have any video game recommendations for me, go ahead and let me know down in the comments and I'll definitely do a video where I play those games. As always, I'm Neil and I'll see you guys the next time I decide to hit the upload button. Peace.